recorded. Good afternoon to one and all present here in today's session of plenary virtual session. My name is Anne Carmel and I'm from BSc Computer Science of KGKS. Before I get into the topic, I would like to thank the management for giving me this golden opportunity. Let's dive right into the topic without any further ado. Subconscious mind. This is a topic which is both mysterious and exciting throughout several decades. There are still a lot of mysteries yet to be found. I wouldn't be surprised if our subconscious brain gets into the list of world's wonders. We all know that there are three parts in our brain and we study their functions right from fifth standard of our schooling. But what we don't know is we have another magical existence inside our brain which opens the door to the whole universe while we are asleep. Anyone who knows to control their brain is brilliant and anyone who knows to control their subconscious brain is the masters of masters. Have you ever wanted to wake up early for your exam and woke up even before your alarm ring you up? That's subconscious brain for you. Anything asked with urgeful desire will be given. That's why in Bible it is said, ask for it will be given. You have to let yourself know how important it is for you and how much you desire for it. Like anything, it may be any wish that you wanted to get or achieve in your future or in your life. Is it amazing? We just have to wish for it, desire for it and our subconscious brain would take care of it. I would be taking... I would be talking, sorry, about how to use a subconscious mind for to achieve the success we always had dreamt about. Let's see how our sleep helps our subconscious mind to take over. After that, let's learn to use a subconscious brain to get what we want. Let it be health or wealth or whatever it may be to you. Lastly, let's see how to make affirmation. Nowadays, there would be people who never forget anything but to sleep. So, this is for you guys. So, you spend about 8 out of every 24 hours or one third of your entire life in sleep. This is an inexorable law of life. This also applies to the animals and vegetable kingdoms. Sleep is a divine law and many answers to our problems comes to us when we are sound asleep upon the bed. Can you believe it? Yes. So many people have advocated the theory that you get tired during the day, that you go to sleep to the rest of the body and that a reparative progress or process takes place while you sleep. Nothing rests in sleep. Your heart, your lungs and all your vital organs functions while you are asleep. Only it is you who is asleep but not your body or your brain. If you eat prior to sleep, the food is digested and assimilated. Also, your skin segregates all the different acids for it to prepare well for the next day and your nails and hair continues to grow. Your subconscious mind never rests or sleep. It is always active and that is why it is very important. And I suggest all of you to be careful while you think about anything or hold a grudge over anyone or hold an affirmation over anything because your subconscious mind is always listening to you and conveying the message to universe. That is why it is said universe is always listening to you because subconscious brain your subconscious brain is always listening to you your subconscious mind will never rest as i already said it is always active controlling all your vital forces the healing process takes place more rapidly while you are asleep as there is no interference from your conscious mind remarkable answers are given to you while you are asleep as i have already told you I wanted you guys to know how important sleep is and how it leads and connects you with your soul with this universe. Now, let me tell you or let me explain you guys how your future is in your subconscious mind. Remember that the future, the result of your habitual thinking is already in your mind. Expect or yes, expect when you change it through prayer. The future of a country likewise is in the collective subconscious of the people of that nation. There is nothing strange in the dream 
that you will be having wherein i saw like more than real reality the things that happens for example if today is my or uh, today is my practical preparation and tomorrow i'm going to write practicals i would always ask myself or uh, i would pray to god or whatever it may be but moreover it is like talking with my subconscious brain asking it to give specific questions that i am prepared really very well and for a surprise every time every nights i do this the next morning of any exam i would be receiving the questions of what i been always thinking to get like uh, i would be very specific and very picky i would also uh, say what the title is and which number the exercise is like for example i will be asking 1 and 5 1 and 5 1 and 5 it must be 1 and 5 and nothing else and it's definitely 1 and 5 even though there are 40 papers before me i am attracting that 1 and 5 exercise in practical that is the power of subconscious mind guys so i suppose you all to use that thing so let me elaborate and break into points about how wonderful our subconscious brain works and what are the wonders it do while we are sleeping if we are worried okay if you are worried that you will not wake up on time as i already said such i suggest you to uh speak to your subconscious mind prior to sleep the exact time you wish to arise and it will awaken you it needs no clock do the same thing with all the problems no matter what your problem is just always just speak with your subconscious brain like i want to wake up or i want to get slim or i want to get into diet i want to study and best and get gold medal or whatever it is whatever the problem might be always speak with your subconscious brain number 2 your subconscious never sleep so be careful of what you're talking with it or what you're talking to yourself that determines who you are it is always on the job it controls all the vital function forgive yourself and everyone else before you go to sleep and healing will take place much more rapidly guidance is given to you while you are asleep sometimes in a dream you know like i might feel like my dream used to come into reality sometimes when i see some something happening someone walking i feel like ah oh, i i have saw it already i guess it is in my dreams or whatever okay I'll leave it but that is subconscious mind for us like guidance is given for any kind of problem that may arise in the future the healing currents are also released and in the morning you feel refreshed and rejuvenated when troubled by the vexation and strive of the life still the wheels of your mind and think about the wisdom and intelligence locked in your subconscious mind which is ready to respond to you ask to it this will give you peace strength and confidence sleep is essential for peace of mind and health of your body lack of sleep can cause irritation depression and mental disorders you definitely need 8 hours of sleep no matter how old are you or how bold and strong you are you definitely need 8 hours of healing progress moreover just calling it as a sleep we can call it as a healing progress or process medical research scholars point out that insomnia presents psychotic breakdown so we don't want it we let let's just go to sleep that is very cheap and best you know best healing your spiritually recharged during sleep adequate sleep is essential for joy and virtuality in life your tired brain craves sleep so hungrily that it will sacrifice anything to get it many who have fallen asleep at the wheel of an automobile can text- testify to this and many sleep deprived people have poor memory and lack proper coordination they become baffled up confused and disorientated sleep sleep brings counsels prior to sleep claim that the infinite intelligence of your subconscious mind is guiding and directing you then watch for the lead which comes perhaps on awakening trust your subconscious completely know that its tendency is always life word occasionally your subconscious answers you in a very vivid dream and a vision in the night you can be forewarned in a dream in the same way as the author your future 
is in your mind now based on your habitual thinking and beliefs claiming infinite intelligence leads and guides you and that all goods is yours and your future will be wonderful believe it and accept it expect the best and invariably the best will come to you if you are writing anything or doing anything if you want to read a book or play or write a novel speak or anything let your subconscious brain knows what you are doing and let it do the things for you guys now that i made it clear how important sleep is let's move on to the next topic under the subconscious brain how to get results you want easy does it so let me start it with a story A house owner once remonstrated with a furnace repairman for charging two hundred dollars for fixing the boiler. The mechanic said, "I charge five cents for the missing bolts and one hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents for knowing what was wrong." Similarly, your subconscious mind is the master mechanic, the all wise one, who knows ways and means of healing any organ of your body. You have cancer. then before sleeping just take an affirmation that my body is healing my body is going to get stronger and i'm going to survive this and i'm going to get stronger the next day i'm going to get a bit better the next day always have this affirmation to yourself so that you can survive any disorder no matter what kind of uncurable disorder it is we have one medicine one healing substance is inside us that we are all forgetting to see and that is our subconscious brain so decree health and your subconscious will establish it but relaxation is the key easy does it do not be concerned with the details and means but know the end result get the feel of the happy solution to your problem whether it is the health finance or employment remember how have you felt after you have recovered from a severe state of illness bear it in mind that your feeling is the touchstone of all subconscious demonstration Your new idea must be felt subjectively in a finished state not the future but as coming about now. So let's discuss some more FAQs and tips about how to actually control our mental and how it helps us to get whatever we want like no matter what you want it may be a physical substance or a mental substance it may be health or wealth or whatever you want. whatever you want you have the ability to get them and let me share like a seven of some tips that i have wrote down so mental correction or too much effort shows anxiety and fear which block your answer so easy does it just try to forget about details you get what you get so you used to get what you get and think it in that way so that everything is on mind when your brain or mind is relaxed and you accept an idea your subconscious goes to work to execute the idea so forget about details and accept the de- accept the idea so that your subconscious would be working on it you don't have to care about anything else because all the work will be done and would be done by your subconscious brain think and plan independently of traditional method know that there is always an answer and a solution to every problem do not be overly concerned with the beating of your heart or the breathing of your lungs or the functions of any part of your anatomy lean heavily upon your subconscious and proclaim frequently that divine right action is taking place as i already told if you are suffering from fe- uh, fever or cancer or if you are a cancer patient you have to hold on to that trust and belief over your subconscious brain the feeling of health produces health the feeling of wealth produces the wealth so how do you feel so as i have told if you feel healthy then you are healthy if you feel wealthy then you are wealthy today i feel very pretty so i am very pretty that's how it works so imagination is your most powerful faculty each and every scientist could feel it so do einstein we all know who einstein is and he trusted imagination more than anything so imagine what is lovely and of good report you are what you imagine yourself to be you avoid conflict between your conscious and subconscious in the sleepy state imagine the fulfillment of your desire 
over and over again prior to sleep let's take an example of your favorite movie what is your favorite movie for me it is arundhati i have watched it until the cd got worn out that was how much i loved it so show your love towards your future by replaying the scenes over and over and over and again and again and again before you go to sleep so that your subconscious brain will know how much you love it so and sleep in peace so sleep in peace and wake in joy so now you know how to get what you want now let's see how to serve yourself with powers of your mind so number 1 is decide to be wealthy the easy way with infallible aid of your subconscious mind trying to accumulate wealth by the sweat of your brow and hard labor is one way to become the richest people or however in richest way not just in money but also in wealth or in as a human being or anything you do not have to strive or slave or hard you just how to ask your subconscious brain or ask it to yourself you are the best creature that god has ever created and look at you full of power and mysteries inside you why do you search outside for any medical examination no we don't need it trying to accumulate wealth by the by just the subconscious power wealth is a subconscious conviction build into your mentality the idea of wealth the trouble with most people is that they have no invisible means of support invisible means of support yes the support is you first of all you have to give the support to yourself and say that yes i'm going to get it i'm going to get it i'm going to get it and the next one is repeat the word whatever word your favorite is for me it is wealth to yourself slowly and quietly for about 5 minutes prior to sleep and your subconscious will bring wealth to pass in your experience the feeling of wealth produces wealth keep this in mind all the time your conscious and subconscious mind must agree they have to agree your subconscious accepts what you really feel to be true as i have already told it is very important for me to wake up for an exam but the next day i would be planning to wake up for a workout i wouldn't be waking up because I, that, that was just an idea i didn't crave for working out but i did crave for uh waking up early during my practical exam because if i didn't wake up then i'm done i'm done i'm i'm dead dead so that is how you have to convince your subconscious mind how important it is to you your conscious and subconscious mind must agree or uh, so as i already told the dominant idea is always accepted by your con- subconscious mind the dominant idea should be wealth and not about poverty that is it must be good and not about bad things you can overcome any mental conflict regarding wealth by affirming frequently by day and by day and by night and by night i'm being prospered in all of my interest increase your sales or anything this is just an uh, affirmation that i used to wrote i used to write uh, but you can take anything like whatever you want to increase your goal or increase your grades or whatever it is you may put uh, replace the word on it increase the sales by repeating the statement over and over again my sales are improving every day my grades are improving every day and uh, i am improving every day i am advancing progressing and getting wealthier every day stop writing like uh, what it might happen this way what if what if, what if what if stop writing it that way write write like it's more good if you write it than just wish it done because you can write so every time you look at what you have wrote you will feeling that urge to achieve it but also remember not just by seeing and reading you should also get it by heart and into your heart so that it conveys the message straight up to your subconscious mind so deposit thoughts of prosperity wealth and success in your subconscious mind and the later will give you compound interest or to constantly affirm you must not mentally deny a few months later for example i want to work out today and after 3 months i don't know i don't want to work out because that is not important to me or i'm feeling very tired that is a bad kind of affirmation the affirmation must come along the whole life of yours so that is how you have to take affirmation this will neutralize the good you have affirmed your true source of wealth consists of the ideas in your mind you have an idea worth millions of dollars so 
keep the idea and seek the idea your subconscious will give you the idea you seek envy and jealousy are stumbling blocks to the flow of wealth so rejoice in the prosperity of others the block to wealth is in your own mind destroy that block now by getting on good mental terms with everyone we just saw how special creature and how uniquely designed material we are i hope from today we all would open up to our subconscious and use it for the well-being of our mother earth and for ourselves this topic was inspired by me like by a book from a book that i am recently reading named the power of subconscious brain before i wrap my speech up i would like to thank my lovely audience who been listening to me with patience and curiosity on what i'm talking about hope i have shared some of my knowledge that helped you explore some new pages of god's creature that is humans of course that is us of course and i hope you have learned a very important thing that you have inside you the the power of line is inside you and once again i would like to thank each and every one who rendered me this beautiful opportunity to share my knowledge on subconscious brain thank you and have a great kickstart ahead